Hey, Treasure and Fans, your pal Big D back here again with, well, this is an unboxing, a weekly news announcement, and kind of just an update on things in general. So, welcome. Um, normally, every week I try to do a weekly update what's coming out, new Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K. Um, this week, nothing came out. There literally was nothing. I mean, it was, there was nothing. A couple random 4Ks came out by a couple, but they weren't anything big. It was really nothing. Same thing with really last week. There wasn't much there either. Um... Yeah, so I mean, it, it hasn't been much. I will do another weekly news update next week because more stuff's going to be starting to come out in the next couple weeks. But right now, there's not a whole lot. But I also had one more unbox to do for my good buddy Bobby out there on the East Coast. I want to get that too as well. And also, so I want to do that today as well, which is going to be out of order. I have a couple other unboxing videos of his stuff that I've completed. I just haven't posted them up yet. Matter of fact, you're going to look really weird because as you can see, I shaved my beard. And then those other couple videos I'll be posting, my beard's still there. So I filmed them earlier. I just haven't posted them yet. Um, sorry, I just kind of took off. Uh, my wife and I decided to go on a, a vacation, something we haven't done in a couple of years. We decided to get out of here. I've explained to you guys before that we're looking at moving. So we went up and visited Reno, Nevada, um, and if, you know, to go see what it's like up there and to see if it's a place we want to move. And after being up there for a few days, I definitely believe it's somewhere I want to live. Um, I live, as you guys know, viewer wise, I live in um, a town called Watsonville, which is about 14 miles away from Santa Cruz, California. Santa Cruz obviously being synonymous with like the Lost Boys and um, us, movies like that. Um, so I've lived here all my life. I am 51 years old now and I've lived in the same Santa Cruz County all my life. And yeah, I just can't deal with it anymore. It is just too much. It's, it's not the same city that I lived in when I was a kid. It's really grown up, which is great. I'm glad it's really grown up and it's become this, 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 this whole different town that I'm used to. It's just that at the point now, it's, it's just, I don't know. I feel like the walls are closing in because there's just so many people now and it just feels overwhelming. And I know first thing you can say is Reno. What are you talking about? It's like a little as big city in the world. Yeah. But when I went out there, like it's so, it's so spread out. I just didn't feel as like, it just had a different feel to it. I, I'm not kidding you. In my town, most people are pretty rude here. Like you go to the store, you ask somebody for some help, and you might as well you, you might as well ask them if you can have one of their teeth out of their mouth. Um, very rude up there. It was a completely different story. I had so many friendly people that were willing to help me and do things, which was awesome. And after 51 years, honestly, I do love Santa Cruz. It's a beautiful town next to the beach, which, mind you, I haven't been to the beach in several years. I've lived here all my life, and I very rarely go to the beach just because it's so overcrowded you can't get in there during the summertime. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just, I need someplace different. I really need someplace different, somewhere I can feel I can grow. It's very stagnant here. The job market in Santa Cruz County is not the best in the world. Um, they pay low and um, it's just not a very good job market. They're, they expect like, they want all these extreme qualifications, which I have. I've got a bachelor's degree. I got, I'm got i I'm right up there. But then it's always like, A, my age is becoming a factor. Or it's just like, well, we'll put you in the list and we'll talk to you later. So it's just... Although the rest of the country seems to have a lot of jobs, Santa Cruz County doesn't. Most people that live in Santa Cruz County actually work in the outlining areas of San Jose, California. Some people live in San, work in San Francisco, Salinas, all these other places outlier, and they live here. And it's really expensive, to be honest with you. That's the other problem, too, is it's way too expensive. I live in a one-bedroom condo apartment, and I pay $2,000 a month rent. It's one bedroom, and it's two grand a month. And it's just, it's not worth it. I don't want to work to live. You know, I want to be able to live and, and work to be there to help obviously pay the bills, stuff like that. But I don't want to be so beholden about my job just to make sure everyone's my fucking rent, part of my friends, but my rent's paid, which is where we're at now, where it's so expensive to live here that like everything, all the work that we do just goes into paying the rent. I have nothing left at the end of the month. So I want to live in a place where A, there's a lot more job opportunities and B, I don't have to pay exorbitant amounts of rent and feel like I'm getting nothing. A one bedroom where I was looking up in Reno there. I can get a two, three bedroom for the same price I'm paying down here. And that, to me, makes a lot more sense. So my wife and I went up there to go look at the job situation, go look up the living situation up there, stuff like that. So that's why there hasn't been any videos, because we took a vacation. I haven't had a vacation in two years. I actually did stay hunkered down during the pandemic. I didn't go out there and frolic, and I stayed home during the pandemic. So it was our first vacation. It was well worth it. It was my wedding anniversary yesterday. I've been married to my wife 19 years now. And it was a much needed vacation, much needed trip. And, um, yeah, I think this is where we're going to be moving. And hopefully 
within the next three or four months, we're going to make that happen. So that's where I'm going with all that. So that's why the video hasn't been out this much now. With that being said, I do have one last Bobby unboxing to do. I think this is the last one according to what he said to me the other day. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. As you can see, I didn't open anything like that. Um, I did take the address off because no, you don't need to know where Bobby lives. And let's get started here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Once again, I want to thank Bobby for all this wonderful stuff. I've been going through some of the movies he sent me and watching them and just been really enjoying them. Uh, so I obviously really appreciate that. And so let's get started. All right. So the last box, as far as I know for now, I think he said something about sending me more later when he buys more 4Ks. But for now, this will be it. So it looks like there's only a couple in this one. Well, you really packed this good. All right. So we got in this last box here. It looks like, oh, okay. So what he did in this one is he sent me a bunch of discs. So we have Halloween 2, Scream Factory. All right. Okay. Uh, Halloween 2, the regular DVD. Okay. Pet Cemetery. it looks like Blu-ray. All right. Halloween 5, Blu-ray. All right. Very cool. Halloween Blu-ray, very cool. These are all the Shout Factory ones, Bobby. These are pretty cool, man. These are the good ones. All right. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, by the way. One of the best Halloween movies out there. I love Season of the Witch. Season of the Witch is all that and a bag of chips. All right. And then we have another... How many... This is the original Blu-ray color timing one. All right. <laughs> I didn't know there was that many different versions. Okay, then we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Okay, and we have Lock... Oh, here's a great movie. Lock Up. Lock Up's an excellent movie. Very good. Underrated Stallone flick. All right. And then we've got... I'm Infested by Vinegar Syndrome. I have never heard this before, but it looks like Clint Howard on the um, cover. Very interesting. That's cool. Mad Men. All right. Very, 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 very cool. Um, The Good Dinosaur, good animated movie, Call of the Wild, I have not seen this one yet, this one with um, Harrison Ford, right, got that one, okay, The Virgin Suicides, alright, good movie, is that the Criterion, I think so, and then the last one, Psycho, very cool, that's awesome, man, these are great movies, Extremely excited to have these for my my uh, for my collection. That is awesome, Bobby. Thank you so much for that. That is really cool. Coming all the way from the East Coast to the West Coast. That's how it rolls around here. That is very cool. So that was just a quick unboxing. Thank you so much, Bobby. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, bud. The other couple of videos will be coming out later this week, if not next week, uh, to get caught up on that stuff. I just, I should have shut everything down for for a week and just decided to take some time for myself and my wife. I just haven't done that in a long time. So I really just shut it down. It was my birthday last week too. So it was kind of, was it last week? Or, yeah, last week was my birth. Yeah, last week was my birthday. So I kind of just shut everything down between my, my, you know, my wife's birthday is coming up in a couple weeks. But between my, my birthday and my wedding anniversary, which was within a week of each other, I just felt like just shutting everything down for a week or so and just kind of taking some time for myself and for my wife. So... But that is it. There will be another weekly news uh, next week because there are there is some stuff starting to come up. Also, next week, I'll show you what I got for my birthday. I actually did get a couple movies for my birthday. I was pretty stoked about. Um, um, yeah, so that is it. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Again, Bobby, I truly appreciate everything, man. You sent me so much stuff. I feel overwhelmed by the amount of stuff you sent me. And I really, really, really do appreciate it. You are, without a doubt, one of my greatest friends. And I'm just lucky every day I can call you a friend. So... Thank you so much, everybody, for watching and subscribing and the whole nine yards. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. Everybody take care. Try to stay cool, man. So where I live, the heat wave stayed off for a few extra days, but then it definitely hit us. And unfortunately, because I live next to the ocean, it's not a dry heat. It's a very humid heat. So, like, it may only say 80 degrees outside, but it feels like it's 100. So, uh, as you can see, I'm wearing a sleeveless shirt. I am, I'm sweating. My whole hat, you can't see it. My whole hat's wet. My back's wet. It is hot. It is absolutely ridiculous around here right now. So try to stay out of the heat. Try to stay cool. Always keep hunting because never going to find. Like, subscribe, the bell. You know that whole nine yards. Everybody again, thank you so much for watching. Please take care. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.